everybody, it's Jonathan with the Ring of Fire in Westchester County. I welcome you to another video blog post or vlog, if you want to call it that. Um, today, we are going to focus on answering the question, which has been posed to me numerous times. What is better, a Lynx grill or a Viking grill? We're going to answer this quickly, succinctly, and get to the point. Um, first thing we have to understand is that the Lynx grill and the Viking grill, for the most part, are essentially the same. Um, they are both owned, both brands are owned by the Middleby Corporation. And as of a few years ago, I don't know if it was three, if it was five, what the number was, but Lynx grills were no longer manufactured in Southern California. They are now manufactured in the same facility in Greenwood, Mississippi, which has been Vikings traditional home. So the grills are built, engineered, etc., under the same tent in Mississippi. May even have the same hands building them, that I don't know. Okay, so the grills, if you look at them nowadays, are very similar looking with the exception of the badge, the logo that is on the front of them. Okay, Viking grills are very different than what they used to be. As we pull out old Viking grills from the 90s and the early 2000s, those Viking grills were much, much deeper than they are now. So what the company decided to do is follow the Lynx footprint and um, just make the Vikings um, to follow those specifications. Now, there are some differences, though, that are worth noting, aside from the price, the Viking being more expensive. Um, the Viking grills are using the old Lynx brass burner, okay? The Lynx grills are using a ceramic burner, which they put into use a number of years ago, about three, four years ago. And um, the logic behind that was that the Lynx felt that the ceramic burner was something that would hold up longer. Um, the ceramic, and I'm t when I say ceramic, I mean 100% ceramic. It's not ceramic covering a metal burner. It's ceramic. So the idea, and you, you could think about how like a Kamado, like a Big Green Egg or a Kamado Joe works, the ceramic grabs the heat and does a very good job of dispensing it in an even fashion, okay? Um, a metal burner will break down after a while, it will corrode, it will rust, it will blister, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But the reason that Viking burner, though it is metal, okay, it's brass, and brass holds up, as far as metals are concerned, very, very well when it comes to high heat. So there's an argument that you can make that perhaps the Viking burner, the brass burner, is better than the Lynx ceramic burner. Um, ceramic does crack. I have had some instances, both in my showroom and with some customers, where the ceramic burner has cracked. Um, Lynx, of course, covers that under their lifetime warranty, which also with the first year is free shipping um, of the part. So that's something to, to, to remember. But um, when it comes to high heat, and that's like if you look at um, some of your pro indoor stoves, like the Thermador, like the Viking, the uh, five and the seven series, you'll notice that there is brass underneath the burner because the brass holds up very well under high heat. Um, Lynx, of course, is going to have a far fuller breadth of products, I mean, if you look at the way things shake down, it's very apparent to me that the Middleby Corporation wants to push the Lynx brand as opposed to Viking Outdoor. Um, if you want to do a full-on outdoor kitchen, you know, Lynx, they offer far more products than Viking does. I mean, Viking has the pieces for an outdoor kitchen. They've got the refrigeration. They've got cabinets, but nowhere near the extent that Lynx does. The other thing is there's a very big difference in price. Um, not only is the Lynx less expensive, but Lynx also, and this goes for both the Sedona line and the professional line, they are offering a 10% promotion money back if you go over your certain dollar threshold, which I think is $5,000, okay? Um, Viking's not doing that. So when you take the Lynx grill head, like the 42 inch head, which is $84.99, and then you look at the Viking grill, 42 inch grill head, which is gonna be more than that. Lynx then is backing 
down further with the 10% off. So there is a wide gulf between Lynx and Viking when it comes to pricing. So now one has to say to themselves, well, is it really, is that is that Delta between the two brands, is the brass burner really worth that? Hmm. Hmm. They are offered in the same sizes, 30, 36, 42, and 54. And both, um, uh, they have options in both liquid propane and natural gas. So did I answer the question, which grill is better? I didn't think I answered it directly, but I'll, I'll, I'll put it to you like this. If I had to buy an outdoor kitchen and I was going to dress it up from soup to nuts, Jonathan would buy the Lynx. If I needed a grill and a freestanding grill only between the two brands, I think I would get the Viking because I like the brass burners. So I'm going with the Lynx, great performance, way more products to outfit the outdoor kitchen. I think I'm going with the Viking for a standalone piece, freestanding piece, because I like those burners. If there are any questions, hit me up. Questions at rofgrills.com. We're here to help. And by the way, we do ship these grills all over. Thank you.